Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast, where we explore the world of wealth and finance and provide insights and inspiration to help you achieve your financial goals. Do you ever dream of becoming a millionaire but don't know where to start? Or perhaps you're already on your way to accumulating significant wealth but want to learn more about the strategies and habits of other successful millionaires. In this podcast, we'll bring you interviews with successful entrepreneurs, investors, and financial experts, as well as research-based insights and practical tips to help you build and grow your wealth. We'll cover topics such as how to invest in stocks, real estate, and other assets, how to manage debt and save for retirement, and how to build a mindset for financial success. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or you're a seasoned investor already looking for new insights and ideas, Everyone's a Millionaire is the podcast for you. So sit back, relax, and join us as we explore the fascinating world of wealth and finance. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Everyone's a Millionaire. I have Mr. Sean Young on the show today. And Sean Young is out of Atlanta, Georgia, and he is an awesome guy. He's a real estate investor. I just interviewed him on my other podcast last week, uh, the Discount Property Investor Podcast. And while we were doing that show, I said, Sean, I'd love to have you on my Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. And all you got to do to qualify is have a net worth of a million or more. And Sean said, yeah, man, we, I got you, bro. Let's do this. So, Sean, thank you for coming on this show. I know you're going to have a ton of knowledge and value to give our audience. Uh, give, give us a quick bio. You know, who is Sean Young? Yeah, guys, very quickly, guys. Sean Young, I'm based here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, come from a sales executive background. Prior to that, I was in the U.S. Air Force, served our country proudly. So I, I'm a veteran. Um, but yeah, guys, fast forward, uh, I went into the, the world of, of sales, uh, being a sales executive. Unfortunately, I was laid off. Like I'm sure a lot of you out there can relate. My company was based in Sweden. The new CEO decided he wanted to run the company a different mm. way and 750 of us were out of there. So I, I decided that I'll, yeah, I'll never be in that position again, guys. And, and I, I found real estate and, and here I am today. So you did that for how long? Uh, at least 10 years. Yeah, 10, years 10, 10 to 11 as a, years. As as a sales, as, a, as being in the sales industry, but you did you had a yep. boss. And then you said, you had know what, boss. I'm going to do this on my <laughs> own. I love it. Okay, so what, what avenue have you chosen to take to essentially acquire one plus million dollars in net worth, Sean? Guys, the avenue that I took was real estate. And the avenue in specifically in real estate of course, there's a number of ways to generate money in real estate, but the way that I was able to generate wealth in real estate, which is a continuous stream of income coming in for me each month, is by using a sandwich lease option method, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, that method is is the, a tactic that I utilize or that I learned that's called control without ownership. Mm -hmm. So I, I love that method. And uh, my good buddy, Ron Legrand, showed it to me. <laughs> Ron is a good guy. I've met Ron several times. He He's the man. I mean, he's been doing this forever. I love it. For, okay. Forever. Sean, I got five questions for you, man. Obviously, I asked you your your approach and your bio, but we have five general questions on this podcast. Let's jump in, man. So That's I great. always want to start by hearing well, what's what's been your biggest financial mistake or setback, right? And it doesn't necessarily have to necessarily be you know real estate related, because uh, this podcast is about finance and business and entrepreneurship as well here. But what's been your biggest financial mistake or setback? And then I guess part two of that is is how did you recover from it or what did you learn? Sure. Well, well, one of my biggest financial mistakes at the beginning of my career was not understanding taxes and not understanding how to uh, manage my, my my books properly. So, uh, guys, that's something that you're going to learn uh, right away is that you're going to need an accountant. Uh, you'll need a bookkeeper and, a, and an accountant uh, to help you with that process. So that was something that I learned right away. I didn't get penalized. I was able to, to pay, you know, pay what I owed and everything. But it was scary at, at first because I'm like, oh, wow, I, I didn't realize I owed so much in taxes. Um, it was new. It was a new being an entrepreneur. So that was my major hurdle at the beginning. And that was how I overcame it was by hiring professionals to help me do what I didn't understand. Man, I've made the mistake too. And I'm so glad you mentioned that. And what an awesome answer. Are you using local accountant and a local bookkeeper? Or are you working with somebody that's on a national level or how, how, how does that work? 
I'm, both of my folks are local. Got it. Okay, cool. Yeah. One one of the the sponsors of this podcast is Prime Corporate Services. There'll be a link in the description, guys. Prime helps me with both tax filing, bookkeeping, um, as well as strategy. So if you are looking for somebody that can help you out, it doesn't matter where you, where you live. They operate in all fifty states. Um, our sponsor Prime can be a great resource. Sean, I can great. attest to that. They actually they actually helped us out. They 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 helped structure our, our stuff. So. I'm I can attest to Prime Prime right now. I've I've had Prime help me with several things, but I'm moving my entire everything. Nine businesses, over 120 units, Ooh. all to Prime because they just they're on it. They're professional. They're very cost effective. Uh, this isn't a commercial for them, and I'm just telling you, not at all. I'm yeah, not at all. But I can attest I to can move to these guys. So yeah, that's very exciting. Yeah. But again, there'll be a link in the description if you guys want to learn more and or book a free call. Sean, number two. Can you share yep. some specific strategies and tactics that you're using or have used not only to increase your income, but to achieve a million dollar net worth, man, this is awesome. So you had mentioned, you said specifically lease options earlier. Is that basically yep. the main thing that you're doing? Not at all, guys. I also have a successful coaching business as well. I, I coach students all over the country, all over the world, actually. I, I've got students in, in other countries. So I coach students all over the world, how to achieve similar success as myself. I also own and operate a professionally um, managed and monitored virtual assistant company. So we we awesome. provide VAs for folks out there in the industry. So those are my three methods, a virtual assistant company, coaching, and real estate. Real estate is my foundational you know, source of, of my wealth. Amazing. In our show notes, we are going to drop the information about how people can connect with you and learn more. Mm -hmm. um, since we're on this topic, what what is the VA company, like the URL where they could go and they could learn more about that? Guys, the company URL is reiworldsolutions.com. And if Amazing. you guys drop in the code FREEDOM in the coupon area, that lets me know that you heard me on this show. You'll get 50% off. Hey, that's amazing. And then also, what's the URL to learn more about working with you as a coach? Guys, head on over to seanyoungcoaches.com. Perfect. And we're going to drop those into the description down below. Amazing. Okay, cool. We're almost, we're halfway done here at this point. Three more questions to go. Um, Sean, did you have any mentors or role models, you know, whenever you left the sales industry or really even before so, but I guess specifically once you left the sales industry and you decided that you wanted to do real estate um, and how did they help you? And usually I don't ask who they are, but you already mentioned Ron LeGrand, no problem. Love Ron. He's a great guy. I'd, I'd imagine you probably had a couple others, but essentially the question is, is what did you learn from these people and why was there so much value uh, and having both mentors, role models, and people that influenced you. Well, as you mentioned, Ron, Ron LeGrand is definitely one of those. And uh, I got to give my hats off to Tom Kroll as well. He, he was another huge influence in my in my career and in my, you know, in my ability to just Tom's understand a things. Of mine. Absolutely. Love and uh, just to understand, understand things from a different perspective. Um, so that you can understand how to uh, not only uh, um, achieve wealth, but how to how to maintain it and grow it. So without Tom's help, without, you know, Ron's help at the beginning, I, my mind was just not wrapped around the, 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 uh, the wealth building process. I was more around generating money, if that made sense. And, and that's yes. two different things, making money and creating wealth are two different, two different avenues. Do you, how far along do you think you would, and this is actually off the, off of my list of questions. It's not on my question list here, right? How, how, what, how far along do you think you would be in terms of percentages if you didn't have any mentors at all? <laughs> Ooh, wow. I mean, I, I would guess I'd probably that. be 15 or 20% to where I'm at today without having people helping, showing me, guiding me, coaches, you know, all these things, right? I don't even think I'd be there, brother. Yeah, I'd probably be at 5%, honestly, because there's so much that you just don't know until you know. There's just things that you just don't know. You, you just don't know what you don't know. And without ex the exposure and that guidance, you're you're not going to um, to know the. Yeah, not only are they guiding you in the right direction, but they're telling you, "Hey, don't do that." Exactly. And that's don't in my the shot. It's just children. as valuable as, "Hey, do this." That's valuable, but don't do this. Man, that saves you time. It saves you money. It saves you heartaches. It, sa it saves you stress. It saves you losses. Mm -hmm. The list is is endless. You know, so cool. Absolutely awesome. Okay, number four, Sean, how do you balance risk and reward when you're making your investment decisions? Guys, I, again, one of my mentors explained to me that just because something can make you money doesn't mean that it's something that you need to, to go into. 
just because it makes you money doesn't mean it's something that you need to be involved with. Is it in line with your goals? Um, will it help you achieve your ultimate goals? If that if those things aren't in place, then that's it's not a reward that I'm willing to take. So that's one thing that I've learned, uh, again, through Focus. mentorship, through mentorship. You got to be focused, guys. Love it, man. Love it. I, I agree 100 percent. But not only what you said on that question, but everything you've said here today, which is great. OK, this is my favorite question, Sean. And, and there could be multiple parts to this, and that's OK. Um, okay. But what would you tell your younger self? Right. Look, looking back, you know, if you could talk to yourself, let's just say, you know, the day after you got laid off. Well, what advice would you tell yourself to speed things up for you and to, you know, get you to where you're at now, but earlier? Well, I'll go back a little further. I'll go back right after I got out of the military. Even better. Um, I, yeah, I had no clue on what I was going to do in the professional workforce, uh, work field or career, you know, what I was going to do out here in the workforce, whatever it's called. And uh, so I wish at that point that I would have told myself, go and figure out how these people who are who are retiring at in their 20s, how are they doing that through real estate? Figure it out right now. You've got the space, you've got the time, you've got the freedom, you got the youth, you got the energy. Go figure it out right now versus figuring out later. That would be my number one. Yeah, Sean, don't go do it now. Don't real wait estate right now. To buy real estate. Exactly. Buy real estate and, and wait. wait. Man, isn't that such a great quote? Hundred percent. I love that. Quote. I love that. So th that is amazing advice, though. Learn quicker. Get in the game sooner. Don't sit around and ponder what ifs. Right? You know, start, take action, and agree. I agree with that one too, Sean. A hundred percent. Right? If I was to tell my younger self some some advice, it would be the exact same. It'd be like, hey, learn how these people are doing it. Learn it fast. Learn it quick. Don't wait five years. Don't. Don't think I'm going to need to take two or three years to learn all this stuff. We can learn most of this stuff in a weekend, right? Or in a course of a couple weeks time, right? 100%. Do it sooner. Don't delay. Sean, that is amazing. And again, I got one more question. It's off It's off my list here. Um, but what would be some advice for you to give to the audience here? Because again, you know, I told you before we jumped on the air here, uh, one in 17 folks in America has a net worth of a million. Only one in 17. It's roughly 5%. So the other 16 people, you know, they are trying to get to where you and I are at. What advice would you tell them? And it might be the same as the last one, but I'm just curious to hear your your input on that. Guys, you, you got to be willing to, willing to take a risk outside of what you're currently doing. I, I know it may seem like I can't do this or it's, it's out of my realm. Those guys are super handsome. David, he's such a handsome guy. Sean, he's, <laughs> you know, that's why they're, they've got success. That's not it, guys. Just like not David it. said, you can you can learn this stuff with in a weekend, within a week. It's all what you tell yourself in your mind, and it's what approach do you take towards that. You've got to be razor, laser focused on on one goal. And I'm telling you guys, real estate is the avenue that has the lowest barrier of entry to, to allow you to get in and then allow you to grow your wealth. Dropping value bombs here today, Sean. Sean, thank you so much. We keep these podcasts short. We want them to be consumable. People can can consume them on their way to work, you know, maybe on their coffee break, whatever. We like that to keep them short. So I want to thank you so much for your time and all the value that you created. One more time, tell us where we can connect with you if we wanted to, you know, work with you as a coach, or maybe we wanted to bring a virtual assistant into our business. Hundred percent. Guys, if you want, need a, a professionally trained virtual assistant, that's huge and important. Head on over to reiworldsolutions.com. If you're looking for a coach or mentorship, head on over to seanyoungcoaches.com, guys. I would love to speak with you and see if we'd be a good fit for each other. I'm sure that you would be an amazing coach, Sean. You're obviously a millionaire. You have tons of success. You're doing deals. And you've given us a ton of value today. So again, I really want to thank you for your time. I'm grateful to, to have you in my circles. And um, yeah, it's just been amazing. Guys, don't forget this podcast is brought to you by Prime Corporate Services. Every single person that we interview on this podcast essentially is an entrepreneur. Up to today, I think we're at number nine or 10 today. Everybody has... Um, has been an entrepreneur on this show thus far. 
And I would imagine that, you know, as we get this show built out to three and four and 500 episodes, 97 to 99% of the people on this show are going to be entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurship is the way to wealth. And in order to be an entrepreneur, you need to be a small business owner. And that's where Prime comes in. They can help you set up entities. They can help you uh, do like Sean was saying earlier, keep track of your books and your taxes so you don't get behind on that stuff. They can help you with strategy. There'll be a link in the show notes for you guys to book a free one hour consultation. Check it out. Sean, thanks for being here. Signing off, brother. Thank you, David. Thanks for having me, brother. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Everyone's a Millionaire. We hope you've enjoyed our discussion and that you've gained some valuable insights and ideas to help you build and grow your own wealth. We want to thank our guests for sharing their knowledge and expertise with us today. And we also want to thank you, our listeners, for tuning in and joining us on this journey of financial discovery. If you've enjoyed today's episode, be sure to subscribe to our podcast, leave us a rating and a review on your favorite podcast platform. And if you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out to us on our website or on social media. Remember, at Everyone's a Millionaire, we believe that wealth is within reach for everyone. And we're here to help you achieve your financial goals. So until next time, keep hustling, keep learning, and keep building your wealth. Signing off.